Hello everyone, Aerofight here, and I'm sorry that it's been a while. Uh, but anyway, thanks for joining me on ALP, or my accidental Let's Play. Um, so I went on a small break, um, 10, 11 days, something like that, while I went uh, to spend Christmas with my family and my fiancé and stuff like that. So that's why I've been gone. But uh, I've spent all day... Uh, three, three or so hours, uh, catching up on YouTube videos for the ALP server so that I would know what to expect uh, when I got in today. So, just a small recap of what I can tell you that's here at the hub. There's a storage system over here instead of our chests that were here. Uh, we now have floating water here for the brewing stand. And each one of these spots is for... Uh, just one of each type tree, or of certain trees anyway. Um, so there's four of those, and then this is kind of like a tree farm. Uh, there's Jake's ship getting along. I won't get any closer. I'll let him show you that. And um, that's what I can show you here. But then I also know that there has been a mesa biome found and a me mega taiga, and I still think we haven't found a jungle, which is a shame. Um, so, yeah. So the first things first, uh, if any of you have watched Sparks and Crazy Man's video, they gave me a present. Um, they apparently gave me sand, too. I didn't notice that, but I'm assuming that's to show the mesa biome. And um, they gave me a gift, and we'll look at my gift in a minute, but we'll read this first. It says, Congrats on 500 subs and graduating. Also, well done and thank you for finding the stronghold on the server. Sorry to hear you lost all your good gear, which we'll talk about in a second. And think of these boots as a thank you and a well done gift. Well, thank you and well done gift. Crazyman47 and Sparks. P.S. We know you struggle with shoelaces, so we made sure they didn't have any. Ha 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 ha. So yes, I have laceless boots. Okay, so I guess we will start with that backstory real fast. Uh, the day of my graduation, I was talking to Crazy Man through Skype, and uh, he, I, basically I was misspelling a lot of stuff. So he's like, you can graduate, but you can't spell. I bet you can't tie your shoelaces either. And, um... I just told him, ironically, that the shoes that I wear every day uh, don't have shoelaces, which he thought was hilarious, right? But uh, also ironically with uh, all of that was that the day of my graduation, I uh, put on my fancy clothes and stuff, and the shirt is kind of tight, um, as a lot of those fancy clothes are, and I wasn't able to... Uh, bend over and tie my shoelaces, so I had my fiancé tie them for me, which he once again thought was hilarious, so that's why I now have laceless boots, which I'm more than willing to wear, <laughs> and uh, works for me. Okay, so something else now. Um, as mentioned in here, it says, sorry to hear you lost all of your good gear. Okay, so this is going straight from our last episode. You know, I died twice during the episode. Uh, which is a shame, but I didn't really lose anything. I was able to go get all the stuff. Well, then I was like, you know what, guys? I'll do the securing of the stronghold off camera. And, uh, to which I'm trying, I was trying to do, and I uh, was walking toward near one of the lava pools, and a silverfish knocked me into the lava pool. And I died. Um, now, that would have burned some of my stuff, but not all of it. Uh, so, I'm like in a rush to get back, but while I'm trying to get back, I'm, I start, uh, I have to make ladders to go down the initial hole that I made into the stronghold, and, uh, so I'm trying to place these ladders while going down it at the same time, and I fell, and I died again. So, the next time I come back, and I have, I, and I am able to get down, but by the time I get there, there are no things. All my stuff had despawned. Um, and then, two silverfish come out of nowhere, trapped me in a corner, and killed me again. So I have now died seven times on the accidental server. Crazy man, who is on, but I think is AFK, has died 
zero times. I think Jake has died once, and I'm not sure about Sparks, if he's still on two or if he's died more. But uh, according to Sparks, dying seven times makes me the manliest person on the server. So I'll take that. Uh, okay, so now let's get on to the actual episode. Um, basically today, we are going to make a blaze farm. And... Crazy Man already kind of blocked it up, so I don't have to worry about all the blocking up and all that stuff, but I do have to worry about the amount of pistons and some redstone required to make the farm. So I haven't gathered any of that yet, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to gather all of those materials, and then I'll be back with you and we will make a blaze farm. Okay, everyone, we are now at the Blaze Farm, which I don't believe I've ever shown on camera. Or I guess it's not really a farm yet, it's more just the spawner. It, it, Crazy Man did this thing right here. Oh, really? That just took down most of my hearts. I don't have any armor, admittedly, but... Anyway, he, he built this area here where um, Blaze can spawn and you can kill them, so it's sort of a farm right now. Um, but not quite yet, um, or at least not in the standards that I want it to be. But the good news is that he has blocked it up for us, uh, so we don't have to worry about doing that. Um, which, in my opinion, is the hard part. Um, that sucks about my hearts, so that's why these bottles are gone. I also want to note that I did die one more time on my way here because uh, there were more blaze and I thought I could get through and obviously I couldn't. So that, that really, really irritated me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is drink some fire resistant potions, which I haven't drinking any of yet. I've taken off my laceless boots because I don't want to lose them just in case. And, um... We're going to get this started. Now, um, we're basically going to make a funnel going down uh, with uh, pistons. Uh, this is not necessarily an original idea. I didn't look at... I have looked at tutorials before for Blaze Farms, so I could be taking something from them. Um, don't ask me what videos. Um, but I did make up my own design for pushing the piston out, and for all I know, somebody else has used it before, so I'm terribly sorry if somebody has, but I didn't look at the tutorial to make the one that I'm currently doing now, but it's probably similar to others. Okay, now that that little disclaimer is over, um, let's get started. Now, the hard part with this is just going to be the setup of the funnel itself, um, because of gas, probably. Because unfortunately, and fortunately sort of, this right here is not um, very well protected. There's a lot of air. Well, the air makes it easy to build, um, sort of, but it doesn't make it easy to protect myself from gas specifically. So we're going to block that up. Now, something to note with these blaze farms, right, or with the spawner. I'm not sure, I, I imagine the spawner's here, and if you set it up right, the, this should be positive, and it is, and that should be negative in the X, okay, so we're good with that, he set it up right, um, but you don't need certain pieces of this, and I'm not sure where the spawner itself is, uh, let's see. I was messing around with this yesterday in preparation for this video. Is this one at this level? Okay. Nothing will spawn below this level here for a um, blaze. They'll spawn on this block, but since we have blocks here, it won't be able to spawn. So we actually don't need this entire level right here. So... Um, what I'm going to do is bust that out so that we have a little bit of room to build. And actually, it looks like we don't need one more level up as well. Yeah, there's the spawner. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so we don't even need this whole level. And I know Crazy Man spent lots of time trying to... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
I'm dead. I'm just letting you guys know. Never mind. See how I removed that block and then he came? Um, yeah, so we're not removing any of these blocks, if possible. Wow, I just about had a heart attack. <laughs> Ooh. Let's not do that again. Um, so I'm going to block this up, or unblock this, I guess. And then I'll be back with you guys, because this is boring. Okay, so I've taken out the bottom layer that wasn't necessary there, and we're going to have to dig quite a bit more down, uh, so I'm not done with that. But we've dug that out, and I just want to point something out. Basically, I'm going to have pressure plates with pistons all the way around. And for the first row, the pressure plate is going to be where these blocks are. So we'll bust out this block in place. Now, I can't do that right now, because if I do, Blaze will begin to spawn. So that's going to be kind of a last minute thing. Now that being said, what we're going to do is go down one row like this, and Blaze can't spawn here. Right, and go all the way around, and we're going to place repeaters on here. Um, now, not all of these ro these are going to have repeaters on them. I'll show you when we get to that point which ones won't and which ones do. I have kind of a pattern. You can technically do it however you want. Um, but yeah, so I'd say the first step is just go around placing a border on this second level, like so. Okay, now, it would have helped if I had grabbed the repeaters, but whatever. Uh, I guess this is a good opportunity just to talk a little bit while I grab them. Um, I've put up these blockades just so that wither skeletons can't get to me. I, that one almost did, though. Um, and at any rate, um, um, and I noticed in my last recording for this episode that you could hear my cat jingling in the background. So I have removed his collar. So hopefully we won't hear him too much, but he likes to come bug me sometimes while I'm recording or doing stuff at the computer or anything like that. So we'll see. Um, okay, so now I think I have what I need. Um, what I'm going to do is I need the repeaters. Uh, you will need roughly 64 repeaters. I think it's 63, assuming you don't lose any. Right, so... Okay, so there will be a pressure plate on every one of these blocks going around right here in a square. Okay, but uh, we don't... We, we won't use all of those spots um, for repeaters, uh, because if you think about it, where there's a repeater, there's going to be a piston pushing in. And we don't want two pistons pushing in on these corners, we only want one. So what we're going to do is, I have a pattern. Um, the left side of the square is going to go all the way to the end, where the right one's going to go in a little bit. So it's going to be more like this, without the one that's going to be on this pressure plate. So um, this will work. But it will go all the way to the end of the square for this one. Well, then this one won't have a repeater here. And it'll go all the way, like this. And that one won't have one, and it goes all the way around. And that one won't have one, and it goes all the way around. Okay, so that's the first layer, and I've used almost half of my my repeaters. So the top layer takes a lot. I think you get eight less repeaters and eight less pistons per level. Right. Okay, so then to make the little mechanism that will push, right? You want a block here for the repeater to push into, and then you're going to put a piston. Ow! Cat? I swear. Right. Damn. Whew, sorry guys, my cat tried to jump up onto my lap and clawed the ever-living crap out of my side. Um, 
Okay, well, I can't continue this tutorial necessarily, uh, you put, not yet, because um, I realized that the pistons I have aren't the pistons that I need. You need sticky pistons. Sticky pistons. So, I'm going to finish putting my blocks all the way around like this, but I'm going to need to go get some... Um, what are those called? Slime balls. Before I can continue and make all of my pistons sticky, there will be none that are not. So if you are following me along here, get sticky pistons. Okay, here we go, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back, and luckily we had about just the number of slime balls that I needed uh, for this build in the community chest stuff. So that's pretty awesome. Okay. So now, just place your pistons on top here, like so. And then a block here. Dang, gas probably destroyed some of those pistons and stuff. Oh. I don't know where he is. Dang it, cat. Okay. I got him, but he definitely destroyed some pistons and stuff. So, now we see the conundrum with this build. So, luckily, I don't think he destroyed any of the repeaters or anything like that. Uh, the good news is that I shouldn't have to be doing anything on the top here after the initial build the stage that we're on now. So, um, let's try to get this done real fast. Okay, so the idea is that if they spawn in this spot, they get pushed into this spot, and then this one will push into the middle, and it will drop them down to the next level. Okay, dokie. So, top is done. Hopefully we won't have to mess with it again. Or we will, we will at the end, so hopefully there won't be any gas at the end. So now we're down here. And it's a little hard to tell um, at the moment where the next stage of pistons have to be. Um, but if you recall, we, we added an extra layer, right? This is where um, the repeater is sitting, I believe. Like I said, it's really hard to tell. Um, yes. Okay, so this, this outer ring here is where the repeater is sitting, which means the pressure plate is sitting here on this block, which means they're going to drop from here, right? And we've, we're going to set another piston. Let me think about this real fast. Okay, we're going to set a piston on... Uh, let's see, on this back block here, I believe, let's see, what did we say, repeater, pressure plate, yeah, okay, so the pistons are all going to go right here, and then a block's going to go right there, so what we're going to go ahead and do is place our pistons around it, now, remember, we have that little rotation scheme, right, so the left side over here is going to go all the way around the border. So let's find our border. Um, this is going to push anybody that stands on that block, or anything that stands on that block. So there we that. That will be where the repeater sits, right? The repeater will push into another block, which is really hard to make right here. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. Piston. Repeater is going to sit on that block. Oops. There we go. So repeater's on that block, and so that's our setup, and we're going to do that all the way around. So, um, we want to go one in from the previous stuff, right? So, 
It's really hard to tell because it's blocked up. It won't be hard as hard to tell in the next one. Um, let's see, this is the repeater block here, so it's going to fall on this block. So we're going to that one. Okay. So make a square. You can already tell the square is considerably smaller. Dang it, of course it would hit the top of that. Oh, we probably just lost another pressure plate. Or not pressure plate. Gotcha. I already got the return to sender achievement, otherwise that would have been great. Uh, let's see. I bet it did. Yep. Dang it all to heck. I'm glad I brought extra repeater, or pistons, but at this rate, I may need more than just the extra that I brought, which is upsetting. <sighs> okay, so if I'm right, this is where all the pressure plates are going to go. Um, now, I'm used to flying around when I've made this build, so I'm having to kind of improvise how I normally think about this build, so give me a second. Um, since, let's see, we go all the way on this side, like that, and put your pistons, oops, and basically, it's the same type of idea, if, we know that they're going to be pushed down right here, so we want them to land on the pressure plate, so that's where it is, and, let's see, did I bring them? Yeah, I did. Let's show this, how this works, right? When I press this, it lights up that block, which lights the piston, and will push them down to the next row. So the next um, spot that we're going to want to put the pressure plates right where I am, basically, but lower, obviously. So it's going to be much easier to tell now. But it was, I can't destroy any of these blocks, or these guys will start to spawn, so I couldn't show that um, before. And that's why it's making it harder to build now. <laughs> okay, so... These pistons are going to go all the way out like we've got them. And what you'll see is this will make almost a natural wall against gas for me. So hopefully they'll, they won't they will see me as much um, as I complete this build. Like that. Okay, so this one, right, is actually going to push onto this block. So this block is where we want to start our next set of piston stuff. And it goes all the way to the corner. This one's going to push onto here, so we we'll want to go this, and it's this all the way around, so um, that's it. Now, I'm just going to kind of skip forward a little bit because uh, there's no reason for you all to watch this. I'll either skip forward or I will do a montage. I'm not sure yet. Okay, everybody, I am done with the frame of the um, blaze farm. Now, I had a problem. There were moments when I was going to talk to you guys and tell you why I was doing what I was doing, things like that, and uh, I realized that I had muted my mic, you know, I realized after I was done recording, uh, that I had muted my mic and uh, so that I could do like a title, or, you know, like a sequence, or whatever, a montage kind of thing, um, and so when I was talking, there was no talking, um, so I'm going to now kind of walk through this so that you guys can see what I did um, but most of it is what I had already shown um, let me get a few blocks and I'll be back with you again okay I have blocks now I can show you I also want to mention that I died one more time dang gassed fireballed me in the face and I had two hearts so okay so this is the inside portion right um, and everything is pretty much the same. I think I showed you down to this level right here, maybe. Um, uh, so everything's pretty much the same. Still doing that left pattern thing where, you know, this one's going to push out into that one and down and all that good stuff. Um, so that should be good. Now, the only real difference is that in this bottom section here, there's only two on one side and one on the other. And uh, it doesn't matter uh, how you do this, um, as long as they're on you know, corners with each other, so it could be this corner and this one, this one and this one, you know, these two, whatever. Um, the only thing that really matters about it is that you face it in the direction that you want, right? So I had this face into the wall, 
right here, um, because going that way is I would have to build the um, crusher contraption uh, outside in the air where all the gas are and all my redstone would get destroyed. So I decided to do it this way so I could build a lot of it inside the wall and not have to worry about all the gas and whatnot. Okay, uh, the only other thing that I did down here was I blocked up the corners. You know, there's some space here where you can see out, and I blocked it up so that inside here they can't get out and nothing can get in, and everything's all hunky-dory. Okay, so um, the only other thing that I did, which you may have mentioned, or not mentioned, sorry, may have noticed because I was on the top of the beginning, uh, is that I added some dispensers at the top. And they are dispensers with lava buckets in them. I can't go up there until this gas is gone. Because um, I'm afraid that they'll destroy the dispensers or the redstone or something. Um, dang it, come on. There are three gas going around right now. Hold on, I'll be back with you guys. Okay. I killed three gas, and I think that's all there were, so we're going to go up here real fast. Uh, not too hard to explain, right? The, uh, whatchamajig, the, uh, the, the, the spawner is underneath this block here. Um, so we are actually uh, a few blocks ahead. Let's see, this is one, right? This would be a second block, third, and then there's the fourth block above will be the dispenser. And then this little area, this little part around it, uh, which I apparently didn't do for all of them, um, it should be like this. It's so that the lava doesn't spread out, it just goes down in one continuous pool, right? Um, and you don't need certain blocks, you just need it around them like that, so that it will just go straight down. It doesn't really matter how you want to hook this up as long as it is, right? So I have the redstone here with all these torches and stuff. The idea is that at the bottom where the collection chamber is, there will be a button. And you'll hit the button and it will spin, send some vertical wiring up through these redstone torches to activate the um, repeaters up here. So, and, and, and in turn activate the dispensers. So the, you know, this will turn on. Turn the repeater on, hit that, go through it, and hit this one, and the same thing goes on that side. And they're just dispensers with lava buckets facing down so that uh, lava will go down. Now the idea behind this is that it will turn off the spawning in this room, and we're really going to want this because uh, when it comes time for us to destroy these top blocks over here we're gonna want some way to stop the spawning so that they can't spawn and kill us while we're doing it um, and that's it for that now speaking of um, those lava areas right we want to be able to um, catch that lava so that it can't go all the way down and uh, go out and hit us down at the very bottom. Um, so we got to get inside here, and I'll show you what to do. It's not that hard, kind of strange, um, but not that hard. It's on um, this next level, and basically we're just going to stop um, stop it from being able to come out. Now I may not be able to do this fully yet, actually. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the materials needed. Um, basically, to make this collection area, you have to have floating signs. Um, but in order to do that, you have to have something to place them on, uh, technically. All right, so they're not really floating, but they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place our pressure plates inside uh, on all levels. But we'll start with this one since it's the top. Um, do not step on these pressure plates once you do this, unless you want to test them, in which case you need to make a, like a, you know, a, a floor to walk on or whatever to test them. Uh, and I'll probably do that at the end, but not on camera. Okay, so the, uh, once those are placed, you make the spot where the lava is actually going to fall onto. And 
the lava, you know, the dispensers that I did are exactly above the corners of this room. That was the idea be when I made them, right? So what you do is put them here, you know, and you just do this going all the way around the wall. It's just in the corners right below the pressure plates. And then the problem with this now, though, is they'll fall onto that and then spread out to the rest of the area. Ooh, I may have just fallen, maybe? That was strange okay anyway and then you so that it doesn't spread you place them on the pressure plates it's kind of hard to do just make sure you're pointing exactly at the corner there and you just do it all the way around like I'm doing it now and once you're done when the lava flows into here it won't spread everywhere it will get caught by those and won't go any farther down because oof it scared me. And it doesn't really need to, so that's fine. Uh, now let's go ahead and press, put our pressure plates on all the other levels. Um, and I'll show you that, you know, that it does work. It will push you onto this one. Right? And then down here, place your, your, four, your three, rather, pressure plates. You can see they work. And um, then, then I get out of there. This is just my escape route. You can do your escape route however you want to. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to actually make the lava fall down there. But the problem is that in the in the process of doing this, um, it's going to make lava spread across the top. So the way that we're going to get around that doesn't is we're going to break the blocks that are right here. Right under, right underneath the dispensers, and um, the problem with this though is that the mobs are going to begin spawning, probably anyway. They can, um, but they're trapped, so he can't escape. But he still can attack you. So I'd say, dang it, all to heck. Sorry guys, I'm I'm pretty irritated with gas right now. I've been trying to do this build for days now. I moved apartments. I got my internet back finally today and now gas are irritating the ever-living crap out of me. So, I'll be back when I get this done. Okay, I killed that gas. Um, now, as you can see, the mob spawned in there. The blaze, right? Well, that's fine, but stay out of his range because you don't want to die. So just keep breaking them underneath there. They may spawn, they may not. It's really fine either way. Just stay out of their line of sight. Uh, okay, so. That's good. Now I've placed this temporary button over here so that I can activate these dispensers. And let's see, it will turn all of the dispensers on. The blaze are still in there, but they're like... They, they go up in lava, kind of like normal mobs do in water. I don't know why that dispenser didn't turn on. Um, should have. I'll mess with that later, but I'll just manually turn it on for now. They go up, so they probably can't see you now, which is fine, and no more can spawn. So just go ahead and kill them if you want to. You probably don't have to. Um, but no more mobs are spawning up here. And um, then what we're going to do is go back inside and bust holes so that the lava will flow all the way down. Okay, so the thing to remember is that if that up there is built right, the lava should be flowing from the corners of the room right here. Not the very corner of this room, but the corner where it will be. So it should be... Make sure... should be right there. The lava is going to flow down and get caught. See? It should be... Right there. Should be right there. And it should be right there. Okay, so now while that lava is active, no mobs will spawn in here. At least no blaze. I don't think any other mobs can either, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and escape. And this is where we will now do the... Uh, top like the top pressure plates because we can because now the blaze can't spawn 
I keep getting trapped in here by these other blaze, though. They don't like that I'm trying to kill their brethren, I guess. It's pretty irritating, though. So. Dig it! Nope. And, you know, I put up this wall block so that the wither skeletons couldn't get to me, but it ended up blocking it to where I can't hit these blaze that keep spawning over here. What? I, oh, I'm I'm dead. That's bullshit. I'm dead, and I probably lost some of that stuff off the edge. But that was crap. Like, you guys saw that. I was behind that pillar. Okay, let's see how much stuff I lost, guys. Hopefully not too much. I see my pickaxe is still here. But, I mean, anything else... If it fell off the edge there. I should have ran into that hole there. Oh man, I know I lost a lot of stuff. I had to bed more than that on me. I don't remember what I had on me, but I had to bed more than that. <sighs> okay. Whoa. What the heck? I know that's not the place that was following me earlier. Okay. So, now, let's go up to the top and place our pressure plates and all that good stuff so that's blocking it and the repeaters are here so at the same level as the repeaters is where we want to place these so let's start by just destroying blocks going all the way around here uh, this way we can make sure that the light level is high enough um, that um, we don't have problems with blazing spawning anyway. The blazing, blazing spawning, blazes spawning anyway, um, because blaze are very temperamental. Okay, they they need a very high light level not to spawn. Whoa, 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 whoa! He should not have spawned. Okay, I had a few hiccups while trying to take out this area here. Um, so, what I want to tell you now is, if you do not, if, when you destroy these blocks right here, um, without the pressure plates, or with the pressure plates, I'm sorry, the ones that are were where the pressure plates are, um, when you destroy them, immediately place a pressure plate. Blaze can't spawn on when these um, when the lava's out, but they can spawn on this outer ring if there's not a pressure plate there. So just an FYI kind of thing going on there. So now they can't spawn, but you need to destroy the block that's originally there and place the pressure plate down, and now they can spawn. Otherwise, you will have problems. Okay, so the blaze farm is pretty much complete. The farm itself, that is. Um, now, uh, that doesn't mean that I've done the collection area, but I think I'm going to do the collection area off camera because this video has become way longer than I had initially planned it to be. I've died way more times than I had initially planned, and I, uh, I'm just kind of done with it. So... I'm not going to do the collection area right now. What I'm going to do instead is, in a few days, I'll release a redstone tutorial, redstone creations video, where I make the collection area for the blaze spawner. If you want me to make the entire spawner itself in creative, in my redstone creations, the entire trap, I can do that as well. Just somebody com put in the comments that they want to see it. Okay. So that is it for the video. I'm sorry for the length. I'm sorry I died so many times. Um, but it just can't be helped. I hope you liked it. I will see you guys later.